Okay, so this is a review video on how to solve a system of equations. When we're solving a system of equations, we have two different methods to use algebraically. You can either use elimination or substitution. Today, this video is only going to focus on elimination. So, in elimination, our goal is to get the additive inverses for one of the variables so they will cancel out. So, for example, if I have 3x, I want to get negative 3x, so they cancel. Or if I had 4y, my goal is to get negative 4y. So let's take a look at the first example. I have 2x minus y equals 2, and x plus y equals 2. If you notice, I have a negative y and a positive y. They're additive inverses, so I don't have to do any extra work here because I already have that. So all we're going to do is add the two equations. 2x plus x gives us 3x. Our y's are going to cancel. And 2 plus 2 is going to give us 4. Now I'm going to get that x by itself and divide both sides by 3. So I get x equals 4 thirds. Remember, when you're solving a system of equations, you need two answers. So I have an x, I'm going to go back and find y. In order to find y, I'm going to take one of my two original equations. In this case, I'm going to use x plus y equals 2. Then I'm going to substitute in. Instead of x, we know that x is 4 thirds. So I have 4 thirds plus y equals 2. I'm going to subtract 4 thirds from both sides. So I'm going to find that y equals 2 thirds. All right, so let's take a look at a second example. I have c minus 2d equals 14, and c plus 3d equals 9. So the first thing I notice is that my c's have the same coefficient. They both have that imaginary 1. But I need to make one positive and one negative. So I'm going to stack them on top of each other. C minus 2D equals 14. But when I put that second equation on the bottom, I'm going to change the sign of everything. So I'm going to make it a negative C, a negative 3D, and a negative 9. Now I'm going to add them. C plus negative C is going to cancel. Negative 2D plus negative 3D gives me negative 5D. And 14 plus negative 9 gives me 5. Solve for D. And we get D equals negative 1. Then we're going to go back to one of our original equations. C plus 3D equals 9. I'm going to substitute in for D and solve for C. So C equals 12. All right, so let's take a look at one more example. Example 3. 3x plus 2y equals 4, and 4x plus 7y equals 1. If you notice, they're already stacked on top of each other, but I don't have additive inverses, and I don't even have variables with the same coefficient and, different, and the same signs. So i got to do a little bit of work here. So I'm going to multiply each equation by a number. And my goal is to get additive inverses. So I'm going to multiply the top equation by 4 and the bottom equation by negative 3. So everything inside the parentheses or the entire equation gets multiplied. So my new equation for the top is going to be 12x plus 8y equals 16. And my new equation on the bottom is negative 12x minus 21y equals negative 3. And now if you notice, I have 12x and negative 12x, and that was the goal. So I'm going to add these two together, and my x's are going to cancel. Then I have 8y plus negative 21y is going to give us negative 13y, and 16 plus negative 3 gives us 13. So I want to solve for y. And I get y equals negative 1. 
Remember, we always need two answers, an x and a y. So I'm going to go back to one of my original equations. And I'm going to substitute in for y. And now I'm going to use this in order to find x. So we have 3x minus 2 equals 4. 3x equals 6. So x equals 2. All right, so now that you've seen some practice examples, if you'd like to try some on your own, here are two examples for you to try. If you're going to do so, hit pause. Work them out on a piece of scrap paper, and then when you're ready, hit play, and you can check your answers because they'll be on the next slide. Okay, so here are those answers for the practice problems for 1 and 2. Hopefully you got them correct. If not, make sure you come to extra help to figure out where you went wrong.